And off T minus 30. Discovery's computers now while controlling the countdown. Hydraulic power units activated. Sound suppression water system activated. Launch ignition system on. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Go for main engine start. Engines are up and burning. 2, 1, Zero and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, launching the next generation of communication satellite technology. Houston now controlling. Houston Discovery, roll program. How'd you roll, Discovery? Roll maneuver complete. Discovery's in a heads down position on course for a 28 and a half degree, 160 nautical mile orbit. Discovery's engines now throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The orbiter is one mile downrange from the launch site, altitude 21,000 feet. Engines now beginning to throttle back up. Discovery, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Discovery's three main engines back at full throttle. The orbiter is seven miles from the launch site. Altitude 66,000 feet, traveling 2,500 feet per second, or about 1,700 miles per hour. The time is one minute, 35 seconds into the flight. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. SRB separation, time 2 minutes 10 seconds, Discovery's downrange from the launch site, 30 nautical miles, altitude 165,000 feet, traveling 4,300 feet per second, or about 3,000 miles per hour. 3,000 feet. Four hundred feet. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Drag chute deploy. And nose gear touchdown. Discovery making the first night landing at the Kennedy Space Center. Rolling out on runway 15, completing 158 orbits of the Earth while traveling 4,106,000 miles. Roger, wheel stop, Discovery, and congratulations, Frank, making the first night landing of the space shuttle at KSC and for the demonstrating in dramatic fashion on this flight the truly unique capabilities the space shuttle provides the United States space program. Thank you very much, Shelley. It's a real honor to bring it back to KSC where they work on it and make such a nice machine fly so well.